I mean, it was unreal. I mean, we've been talking about it since seventh grade. Just whenever we'd go and watch Pinnacle play in the state championship, we'd always be like, dang, we want to win one of those. And, you know, to finally actually do it, be there, and then actually win it, it means an unreal feeling. Pinnacle seniors Trent Brown, Jordan Maines, and Nico Mannion share a unique bond, not just for one another, but for the game they love. I remember seeing them in, in middle school doing a clinic when they were seventh grade, and they were all diving on the floor and just a closeout drill. So they're just tremendous com competitors and, and, and obviously great basketball players, and when you put, put those two together, you know, good things happen. It's super special being able to, like, look at the guy next to you and know that you've been through a lot together. Uh, yeah, we played on the same middle school team at Mountain Trail. It's been great. I mean, knowing them for so long, I've you know, definitely had chemistry with them since even preschool. We know that off the court we'll still be great friends, so that's been really good for us just being so close that we can kind of police each other, um, give advice, and know that that person's still going to be my friend at the end of the day. Unfortunately, Maine's final prep season ended almost as quickly as it started after suffering a knee injury, which would later require surgery. It hurt at first. It definitely hurt not knowing that I wouldn't be able to play like most of my senior year. But you know, everything happens for a reason, and you know, I kind of accepted it. First of all, I just I felt for him deeply. I mean, it's obviously easier for me having it my main injury through junior season, knowing that I can come back from it. Minor setback for a major comeback is what I always think about. So, I mean, six months is a long time, but Jordan's, Jordan's a tough kid. The team first six foot six wing isn't wasting away his last few months of Pioneer basketball. Now I'm pushing him to start coaching in practice and teaching some of the knowledge he has because people don't realize he's got such a high basketball IQ that he can teach that to some of my younger kids. He says a lot of the things that the coaches can't say. Like, he's just, uh, he's a great supporter and he's always there for us. He's the first one out during timeouts, um, giving high fives, cheering us on. So he's, he's great to have on the sideline. He's, he's one of my best friends, and I'm glad he's still here. we got to have guys step up, and you know, if once that happens and they just play their role, then I feel like we'll, we'll be fine and we can win another state championship.